Good morning, everyone. I am here at Disneyland this morning. It's expected to be a rainy day, so I am actually solo <laughs> today. Uh, just waiting to get into park at the parking lot. And yeah, look forward to seeing how many rides we can get done today and just enjoying a nice weekend. Okay. They've got City Hall currently under construction, but as you can see, guest services are still open if you need to go in there. Pretty perfect day to be here. Early entry waiting. They just opened up for that. Then wait for some roof drop. Also, they are completely redoing the orbiters. So, interesting to see what it looks like when it returns, but the whole thing is completely gone. Alright, we just got done with space. Always good to knock that out first thing in the morning before it gets like 50, 60 minutes. It was only like a five minute wait. Uh, quickly going to go on Nemo's submarine adventure just to get a video. Not really wanting to <laughs> per se, but you know here at the park, so gotta take care of stuff too and check them off my list. <laughs> See you in a bit. Alright, so knocked out Nemo's adventure. Got a good video. Rain still not coming down yet, so on my way over to Thunder Mountain while it is still operating. I forgot to mention I also swung by Galactic Grill, got my cup of ice and refilled at the water station too. Always good to stay hydrated on these long days. Look at this special treat we get. Mickey and all of his friends. Hey there, Mickey. <laughs> Alright, so just got done with Thunder and it's still a beautiful day holding up, so knocking out what rides I can while they're still short. Pirates looks like it is only a five minute wait right now, so pretty much walk on. Gonna do that and then hit up Haunted and uh, Star Wars Land. There's a little Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I think this is one of the last days to ride Haunted before it shuts down. For the season they're doing that whole renovation to the area if i'm correct they've already started it so i'll try to get some footage of that for y'all uh, but yeah we're gonna hit that up before it shuts down for several months because it's always a classic ride to come on here all right see you in a bit looks like they have all of New Orleans set up for Mardi Gras celebration. And yeah, I noticed this when I was getting off of Pirates. They're going more and more all out. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> On the fifth day of Christmas, my good love gave to me my lucky charms to understand the right from wrong. 
four wheels of fortune to spin them. Finally got the water tower up. Huh? Alright, so as you saw, walking past Tiana's, I'm personally excited for it to open like this. As the like first generation that grew up with Splash Mountain, never really connected the story with Song of the South because it wasn't a movie we ever watched, so the story never actually mattered to me. What I cared about was the splashes, so... I mean, at the end of the day, to me, this is Splash Mountain 2.0 and featuring Tiana. But I'm excited for it because obviously my daughters love that and it's going to be fun. They'll be invested in the story, plus they'll be able to go on the splashes still. I mean, they're not changing the actual ride, which is most important to me. Okay, now entering the outpost. Going to wait for rise of the resistance and then also go on millennium too personally not the biggest fan of the millennium falcon ride but it's something that i do want to have a video of in case the girls want to go on in as they are getting into star wars now but we'll see after the rides oh look ray's out chatting with everybody getting ready to take off Today. Outside of Smuggler's Run, we got this full size Millennium Falcon. I'm sure many of you have already seen this. So there's a crowd. Oh, R2 is out today. But oh, we're going to go on the ride. Hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. <laughs> oh, the Millennium Falcon. Oh, no, for some very fast and very profitable expeditions. <laughs> so good to you. Pilots we had were god awful today, so we hit and bumped into everything. And yeah, uh, again, I'm not the biggest fan of this ride personally, but I know there are others that like it. It is nice to go on it like a couple times, especially for Star Wars fans. I mean, who doesn't love that? Giant Millennium Falcon, I'm getting to be on it. Pretty fun. Now people going into Oga's. It's only <laughs> 9.40 right now. This is so damn realistic it feels like you could actually walk into it. And then of course we have the first order store over here. This is the side that's closest to Fantasyland too. All right, so we are heading out of Galaxy's Edge. Uh, that's seven rides now that we've gotten through. And yeah, uh, I did see the lines were short for space, so possibly gonna go on that again. We'll see what's going on. Alright, so with the rain coming down pretty hard, everybody is trying to find shelter under the railways, uh, behind the exit of Space Mountain, really anywhere they can find themselves. I mean, me personally, I, I love the rain, so this is nothing, as you can see, I don't bother with ponchos or anything like that, but um, obviously that is just my personal preference here. Uh, if you are going to mustard and you're not a big fan, uh, come prepared because <laughs> there's only so many places to hide. And obviously all of the 
outdoor land rides are like shutting down, so Cars Land has a few things shut down, like uh, Radio Spring Racers. Uh, Fantasyland has shut down quite a few of their rides, like Teacups, not because of the rain. So again, it kind of corners everybody into certain spaces, but yeah, uh, on my way back to Mansion again. <laughs> This is what's limited available. I'm gonna ride it again one more time before it sets down. As you can see, they got the fence up, but can't really see over. Time to ride thunder in the rain. In the rain. Thunder was a five minute wait in the rain, so hopped on that real quickly. Uh, totally drenched now. Uh, gonna go back over to space, dry off, and then possibly get food and head out. Just cause rain's not seeming to let up, so everybody's ending up congregating in the same areas, making waits pretty long, and yeah. It's not too much fun once that happens. Alright, see you in a bit. Hi everyone, so I am heading out for the day. Not even really gonna do DCA. Uh, cars is still down, and it looks like Incredicoaster is down too right now, so 
no real sense in going over there, but before I leave, I am going to go to Earl of Sandwich, grab some food for the car ride, and then have a nice change of clothes in the car, so that way I can be nice and dry for the ride home. So I hope you guys have enjoyed everything. I uh, will quickly show you a little Earl menu, because really good, quick sandwiches. Uh, and not super heavily priced, but good meat and everything. So, yeah. See you next time. Here's the menu of what they've got. Never had a bad sandwich here. Well, I just got back home. It was a fun day from Earl. Ended up getting the full Montague. That is my go-to sandwich. Uh, it's got turkey and roast beef, swish, cheddar cheese, and mustard sauce, uh, absolutely delicious sandwich. I get extra sauce and banana peppers added as well for a little uh, kick to them. And always a nice sandwich. They have a lot of good options, like I was saying before. I've never had a bad one. And yeah, great day overall. Obviously, the rain impacts a lot of what I wanted to do, but... Did get through a lot of rides in the time I left, which was before one. One thing that I did forget to cover, which is always a great idea, and I made sure to be prepared for myself with this rainy day, was having an extra change of clothes in the car. So even someone like myself that loves to get drenched in the rain, uh, once I got back to the car, was able to get switched into gym gear that you see me in now and uh, tossed all of my wet clothes into a bag, had sandals in there, and was able to drive home comfortably with the heat on and everything. Yeah. So hopefully that tip helps you out. I hope you all enjoyed all the videos that I got uh, while you got to stay home and stay dry. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Take care.